ever access that fund forty six as a capital improvement fund? I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to run that well dry and have a need come up that we're not equipped then to handle because we put it all towards this. Yep. At, at, at this point in time, if a boiler would go south, you could use fund forty six dollars to pay for that boiler as long as you <coughs> waited until July of two thousand nineteen because you can't take any of the dollars out before then. But any time after July, as long as it's a capital project, and I, I'm looking back to, to Dave in the back, is that correct? Any any capital project that would qualify, we could use fund forty six dollars for, but not until July of two thousand nineteen. Adding adding some more background to at least the energy efficiency discussion, there has been some more behind the scenes <laughs> analysis being done at the high school and Jackson and Dave correct me if I'm wrong, but if I speak in high picture, we got 1.1 million square feet in the district. We have about 400,000 square feet at the high school, maybe about 30 or 40 at Jackson currently. The way I'm doing the math here is trying to do quick math. That's 40 to 50% roughly of the energy use of the district is being done in those two schools and they're both old and inefficient, old, old HVAC, old lighting. Um, we spent 1.3 million <coughs> on utilities in the district. When we say how much could we save by doing even <coughs> projects like this that we're talking about at the high school in Jackson, we could possibly save 20% of maybe energy. And I know Dave is researching that with some energy service corporations. So it could be used to maybe help pay for a boiler or at least used to offset some of our costs. So I commend Dave and, and the staff at doing some research on, on that. And they have been working hard to try to get the best use out of our facility. I'm in favor of asking the county asking the bond council to throw out something up for 47 million. Um, like, like Ken Schmidt said, you know, I, um, I don't know how you'd word it on a, on a question. I suppose that's why we have lawyers to help us with that. But um, not, you know, we're, I don't want to spend 50 million if we don't need to spend 50 million. So um, I also I'm in favor of keeping some money in in our fund 46. But uh, hopefully it's a lot more than just a couple hundred thousand by the time the project's all done. Um, I think if you ask for 50 or if you ask for 49 or 48, then that sends the message to everybody that that's what we intend to spend. And I think going at 47, that shows that you know we've taken into account our our uh, savings account fund 46, and yet still don't even want to have to spend that much. So. Any more comments or questions? to authorize district administration to have bond council draft an official resolution for a 47 million dollar referendum for the april 2 2019 election ballot second any further discussion or questions um, one thing i will add is our um, policy 615 will certainly come into play at our next board meeting and i'll just take the time to read the three or four points on here number one is that the total principal dollar amount of the borrowing which is typically done through the issuance of long-term bonds over its entire term be made uh, presented to the board um, for approval um, and made available to the public upon request so that would happen next board meeting as we're discussing potential referendum is uh, the total principal dollar amount of the borrowing. The next one is the total dollar amount of interest expense over the borrowing, which obviously will be, I mean, that's when you're talking interest, you're talking estimates, because you don't know when you're gonna borrow money, how much you're gonna borrow, or what interest rate you're gonna get. Um, but our policy does talk about how that be presented to the board. And uh, um, the total dollar amount of the referendum, including all principal interest and any other items, and then the fourth is uh, all major assumptions and factors used to arrive at those dollar figures. So um, that's a policy that I know that we followed to a T uh, last fall when we were considering this, and I.
certainly expect to be followed to a T this go around as well. So, but I think this policy certainly comes into play in our January meeting when we're talking about the question. Any other comments, questions on this? All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you.